All right, I'm gonna be doing the VSI for Fort Wayne Community Schools uh, test. Clearing lights are amber. Student warning lights are amber and red. My turn signals and hazard lights are amber. My high and low beams are clear. You're gonna check that all my lights are clean, they're not broken, and working properly. Next thing I'm gonna check is my uh, cooling level, make sure to the side glass, make sure it's proper level, there's no cracks, no leaks. Check my hoses, make sure they're properly secure, they're not cracked and not leaking. Next thing I'm gonna check is my power steering fluid and reservoir, make sure that the uh, power steering fluid is level, reservoir secure, not cracked, not leaking. Hoses are not uh, crack or leaking and properly attach. Then you're gonna check under the bus for any leaks or any paddles. Then I'm gonna go to this side, open this compartment. I'm gonna check my steering box and hoses, make sure my steering box is uh, properly secured and attached. No missing bolts or nuts. It's not cracked, not leaking. Also, my hoses, make sure they are properly attached, no cracks, no leaks. Then I check my steering column, my pin my arm, my draft link that comes all the way to the back front tire. It's that one there. My steering knuckle, steering knuckle, and my tie rod, which is right there. I'm gonna check that they're not bent, broken. Well, there's no missing bolts, nuts, or cutter pins. Then I'm gonna check under the engine, make sure my exhaust is properly secure. It doesn't have no holes, no cracks, no leaks, and no black tooth streaks. Check my frame, this is the frame. Make sure the frame is properly secure and mounted. No missing bolts or nuts, no cracks, no welds, no missing, no broken or loose cross members. I'm gonna check my shock server, which is there. Make sure it's secure, it's not bent, not cracked, not leaking. Then I'm gonna check my spring leaves. Make sure they're secure, they're not broken or cracked. My spring mount, my front mount, my U ball, and rear. Make sure they're secure, not missing bolts or not. They're not crack or broken hangers. Then I'm gonna check my brake system. I'm gonna check my lines and hoses. They properly, they make sure they're properly attached. And they're not crack, not leaking. My brake chamber, make sure it's properly attached. No missing bolts. It's not crack, not leaking. My slack adjuster, make sure it doesn't have no more than one inch play. No missing bolts or nuts. Secure. And no missing parts. Then I check under the behind the tire for my brake drum. Make sure it's secure, no crack, and free of debris and oil. My brake lines. Make sure it's secure. Make sure it's not less than a quarter of each thick, and it's free of oil and debris. Then I'm gonna check my tires. Front tires, make sure they are inflated to 95 pounds of pressure. There's no ball cuts or bulges. The depth of the tread should not be less than 430 seconds. And they cannot be retread. And my bow steam, which is right here, make sure it's properly capped and not leaking. Then I'm gonna check my rim, make sure that it's not there's not dents or cracks and no illegal welds. Then my lock nuts. Make sure that all my lock knives are in place. They're tight and there's no rough trails indicating looseness. Then I check my inner and outer hub seal. Make sure it's uh, no missing bolts. It's secure, if there's no leaks around it. And if I have side glass, make sure it's the proper level. <laughs> then I'm gonna check my stop arm. Make sure it's secure. It's not crack 
and uh, it's not broken and, it's not, and the lights are working. And after I stop by, I'm gonna check in my battery compartment. Make sure that my battery tray doesn't have no holes, no leaks. My batteries are properly secure and my cables are properly secure and clean and not frayed. Yeah, I'm gonna check under the bus. I'm gonna check my draft shaft from front to back. Make sure it's not bent, that the U joints are uh, secure and properly greased, and that I have safety straps in place. I'm also gonna check my exhaust front to back. Make sure it's properly mounted. It doesn't have no holes, no cracks, no leaks, and no black stool streaks on it. Also, my frame. From front to back, make sure it's properly mounted, no missing bolts and nuts, no bends, no cracks, no wells, and no broken or loose cross members. And I'm also going to check under the bus on the floor, make sure there's no cracks or holes on the floor. Then I'm going to check in my rear suspension. I'm going to check my spring leaves, which are behind there, make sure they're secure and not cracked or broken. I'm checking my torque arm, which is behind the frame. Uh, make sure it's properly mounted and not cracked. My airbag, which is that black there, make sure it's properly mounted, no leaks, and secure. My shock absorber, make sure it's secure, it's not dent, no crack, no leaks. Then I'm checking my uh, spring mount, my front, my U bolt, which is behind the, the tire and my rear, make sure they are properly attached, secure, no missing bolts or nuts, and uh, no crack hangers or broken hangers. Then I'm gonna check behind the tire, pointing behind the tire, check my brake system, my hoses and lines, make sure they're secure, no crack, no leaks. My brake chamber, which is behind the tire too, make sure, check that it's secure, no missing bolts, or not, and uh, no cracks or no leaks. Then I'm gonna check my uh, lack, slack adjuster, make sure it's no more than one inch play. It's not broken, or it's properly secured, and no missing bolts or missing parts. Then also I check my uh, drum, make sure it's secure, no cracks, and free oil and debris. I'm gonna check my uh, brake lines, make sure no, it's not less than one inch and one quarter of an inch thick and it's free of oil and debris and it's not cracked. Then I'm gonna check in my tires, make sure it's 95 pounds of pressure, no bulges or cuts. The depth of my tires on the rear tires can be no less than two thirty seconds of an inch. They can be retread. My valve steam, make sure it's properly capped, no leaks. I'm gonna check my rim. Make sure it's not bent, no cracks, no illegal welds. My lug nuts, make sure they are all there, tight, and there's no rust trails indicating looseness. My inner and outer axle seal, make sure all my nuts are tight and secure, and there's no leaks. And if I have a side glass, make sure it is checked for the proper level. Then I'm going to check my muff flap. Make sure it's secure and it's not damaged. Now I'm gonna go back to the rear of the bus. I'm gonna check my clearance lights, which are red. My student warning lights are red and amber. My turning hazard signals are amber. My, if I have four stop and go lights, which are red. My backing lights, which lights which are clear. I have two rare red reflectors and I have a clear light by the license plates and I check that they're all clean, they're not broken and they're working properly. Then I'm going to check on my exit rear door, make sure it opens and closes properly, that my rubber is secure and not cracked and also I'm going to check my hinges, make sure all the nuts are there is properly attached and they're not broken. Then I'm gonna go to the other side of the bus. I'm gonna check my fuel cap. Make sure it's tight and secure and has a good gasket. My tank 
tank cage make sure it's secure it's not cracked and also my fuel tank make sure it's secure and no leaks and I'm gonna go to the front of the bus again I'm checking my mirrors I'm gonna check my mirrors on both sides my crossover convex and flat mirrors I'm checking that they are properly secure and they are not cracked or they're clean and there's no obstructions my entrance door make sure my entrance door opens and closes checking my entryway make sure it's clear of debris and my steps rubbers are secure and not loose or war my handrail make sure it's secure not and not loose and my step light make sure it's is uh, clean and not broken and working properly um, after I then I go in the, in the bus open the engine compartment I'm gonna check my oil level make sure it's, it's between out and full and the oil is good condition my transmission fluid make sure it's between out and full and in good condition then I'm gonna check on the left side of the engine for my air compressor which is driven make sure it's properly attached and secure no missing bolts or nuts and no leaks and also the hoses make sure they're properly attached and they're not crack or leaking then in the middle of the engine I check in my water pump make sure it's secure there's no missing bolts and nuts it's not cracking or leaking also my belt make sure it doesn't have no more than three quarters of an inch slippage and it is not frayed or cracked and my hoses make sure they're they're secure they're not crack or leaks then on this side I'm gonna check my alternator make sure it's properly mounted it's not broken and that the wires are not frayed and properly attached and also my belt make sure it doesn't have no more than three quarters of an inch slippage and it is not frayed or crack then I'm checking in general all my hoses and lines make sure they're properly attached and they're not leaking or frayed and I'm gonna check my seats seat frames make sure they're not crack or broken and properly attached to the floor and my cushions make sure they're properly attached to the frame then I'll check all my seats and also checking my emergency exits but I just need to turn the, the bus on for that and I'm checking my emergency exits make sure that they're open and closed and the bus goes works and I'm gonna check all my six emergency exits. I'm also gonna check my rear emergency door, make sure it opens and closes and the bus it works. And also my hatches, they have, have two hatches. I make sure they work also. Then I come to the front of the bus and I'm gonna check my emergency equipment, my fire extinguisher, make sure it is properly rated and fully charged and secure. My first aid kit and vital fluid kit which is in that compartment make sure that they're fully stocked and secure and also my red box which is inside that compartment I check them and make sure it's, it has three reflector triangles and extra fuses and secure I s my driver's seat belt make sure it's not frayed, it's not caught and secure then I'm going to check my <laughs> sit down on the, my seat Check my defrost, make sure it works, it does. My rear heaters, they work. My middle heaters, they work. Driver's heaters, work. Now I'm gonna turn the engine on. I'm gonna check my gears. I'm gonna check reverse, works. Drive, works. I'm gonna go down all the way to one. They work, bring it back to five. Okay, they work. Now I'm gonna press on the gas to make sure that my brakes hold. They do. Put it back to neutral. Now I'm gonna check my gauges. I'm gonna check my 
temperature gauge, make sure it's needle building, no warning lights, my oil level, make sure it's needles building, no warning lights, my bowl meter, make sure it's between 12 and 14. Now I'm going to take my wrist wipers, make sure they work. Windshield fluid, make sure it works. They do. I'm gonna take also my windshield plates, make sure they're or good condition, they're not cracked. I'm gonna take my windshield, my windshield, make sure it's not cracked, clean, no obstruction. I'm gonna take all my mirrors, my crossovers, combats, and flats, make sure they are clean, they're not cracked. No obstructions and, up and properly adjust. Yeah, I'm gonna check my steering wheel, make sure it doesn't have no more than 10 degree play. My horn, make sure it works. Now I'm gonna check my lights indicators, my doom lights work, driver lights work, my rear lights work, my turn lights, they're always on, and my truck light works. Now I'm gonna check my headlights, make sure it works. My high and low beam works. My right turn signal works. My left turn signal works. My hassle lights work. My student warning light, amber lights work. Then my red lights, the stop arm, stop arm works. And I'm done with my four, my VSI. Now I'm gonna do my four point brakes. I'm gonna let the bring the pressure down, brake pressure down to 90. And now I'm gonna let it build to check that the air compressor governor will cut off between 100 and 140 psi. Okay, it did. Now I'm gonna turn the engine off and turn the key to the on position. That way my gauges are working. Then I'm gonna release my brakes and put my feet on the brake pedal and, and hold and check that I don't lose no more than three PSI or air pressure in one minute. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, fan off the air brakes to about 60 psi to make sure that my low warning light and buster comes on. <laughs> Okay, it did. Now I'm going to continue to fan off my air brakes to about 20 to 45 psi to check that my brake valve pops out. Okay, it did. And now I'm done with my four point brakes inspection uh, check. Okay. And this is it. This is part of the test that you need to remember and learn. And uh, that's the end of the, the VSI inspection and the four-point brake check.